Hey everyone, it's Zarello here. Now, I know a few of you expected this to be the Dragon Lord class guide, and we're expecting Troll Spellsmith thereafter. I just wanted to do a bit of an update. There are two other classes, well, there's also a card clash here somewhere in there, but there are two other classes that have been asked for consistently, and that is Necromancer, and that's been asked for for ages, and Vindicator of Day. Now, I'm not sure about Vindicator of Day, but Necromancer, I thought I could do. So, oh, and there's another reason, but... You'll see what that is shortly. It'll be after this video sometime, and you'll see what the reason is. So, I'll just get on with the Necromancer Guide now. To get your Necromancer class, you've got one of two choices. The traditional 2000 Adventure Coin shortcut from Batlon. In fact, this was actually the first class to ever offer that shortcut. Or you can go to the Rep Store in the Light Guide Keep and track down the NUE Necronomicon. And this is a part of a merge item which you actually need to make the class. Now I'm going to show you where to go to actually merge the class in a moment. But just let it be known, you do need to get rank 10 Doomwood. Now the easiest place is the um, war event. It's not a war event anymore, but where, where it was the war event, the Shadowfall War. That place had some really good repeatable quests. Also just do your daily, so that's the best way that I found to get Doomwood rank 10. Once you've got the first piece of the merge you need from the um, rank 10 store, you're going to need the second piece. Now, you get that from the creature creation boss monster here. He's undead, he's got a little bit of health, but you should be able to solo him with the right classes. If you are going for the rank 10 Doomwood Necromancer, you'll be able to use Undead Slayer, and this will easily be able to deal with him. Now, the creature shard or whatever the item is called is a 1% drop so you could be here for a while but once you have it it's just simply merging the two together to make the class and I'll show you where to do that now. Once you've got your merge item from the rank 10 rep store for Doomwood you just head over to the necro tower. Now there are some puzzles you've got to do to get to the top. It's not actually part of the story this is all sort of bonus. If you get to the top you just press exit once you've finished the puzzles the first time, this is just me revisiting the place, and you head over to Sally over here, and you can go to the Merge Shop, and you need the new Necronomicon and the Creature Shard. And you can merge them together and get your class. For your enhancements, I would suggest going full luck. Now I've tried the damage range with full wizard, Full luck. Full Wizard's got slightly higher base damage by roughly 20, so it's not really going to make that much of a difference. Um, full luck, however, well, despite having a little lower damage, does significantly more damage on criticals, and that's what we're going for overall more damage. So I take full luck when considering enhancements. If you've got or enhancements available, I can I would consider either health vamp seeing as a necromancer has two moves that decrease your total health or spiral carve to maximize the amount of crits you can do and damage now the first move does have the capability to double your damage and spiral carve also does double damage so that's roughly four times the total amount of damage necromancer was one of the last classes to be made before they started adding rank 10 passives a chaos shaper was also one of the last few i think the next class is after this were actually a revamp of Doom Knight and Paladin and they got rank 10 passives and they were the first two to get it. Now, let's just go with the rank 4 passives. You're doing 10% more damage and you're doing it 10% more often. So that's a bit more than a, I don't know, 20% overall increase. It's a little bit more. It's a pretty good set of passives to have together. So now that you know how to enhance it and where to get it, I'm going to show you how to use it. Seeing as the Necromancer was the first battle pet class, the first move is the Summon the Battle Pet. Now this is different because non-members never really had access to pets before this point. They've always had a little bit, but not too much. So the first move does that. Now it's got another function which I'll explain in a second. Just a reminder, make sure you don't have any other sort of pet equipped when trying to do this or it won't work. Your damage is significantly reduced. You'll only be hitting 50s if you don't have a battle pet. And just remember there are other battle pits which you can use in place of this undead minion you don't 
have to feel confined to it. So I'm going to explain how these three moves work and then I'm going to go back to summon minion because that's just double damage and I want to show you what the moves are like before and after damage will damage. Now the first move weaken 15 mana 5 second cooldown. It's a bit of a heal but it also weakens. Now it makes everything do a bit more damage. As you can see it only does about 200 damage when it does a non-crit but about 700 when it crits. So it's, it's decent. I really complain about it. Now the second move is infect. It's a three second cooldown, no mana cost. This is because it takes out a portion of your health to restore MP. So we won't bother too much about that now. And command undead order your pet to attack doing increased damage. So that's roughly not quite but more or less double your auto attack. Depends on your damage range and stuff. So if you go along with that you can actually see that the restore MP actually restores a decent amount of MP despite the health cost. So I'll just heal up and show you sorry about this, um, just show you what things are like when you have your double damage working in your favor. Just remember double some of these crits and you've got some pretty nice numbers. So we'll just go in just remember that heal weakens your opponent, making you do more damage when you've got double. You're hitting some pretty nice numbers. Now, the problem with double damage is that it actually does a damage over time. And you're using up a lot of MP, but you just restore it with that, and you're good. It's a bit of juggling act. Now, remember, health vampire could help negate this. I wouldn't go with mana vampire, since you've got a way of getting mana back. And spiral carve would do a lot more crits. Me, I'd prefer to be on the safe side, especially against some bosses, and just have a huge amount of healing capacity. So as you can see, it's actually a relatively simple class. You've just got a lot of raw power, and you press the buttons, and you do really well. So there's a lot you can do. Uh, that's it for this guide. As you can see, in PvP, this thing could be really good for... Uh, short bursts, even with these enemies that have been buffed with a lot more health, it still holds its ground and refuses to back down, even when you're not using the double damage. If you've got some enhancements, like the ore ones, you can have some fun. Uh, potions can be used, and that can also be a lot of fun on top of this. But yeah, just play around. Now, there's a bit of a sequel to this guide coming up, and I hope you enjoy it. Just remember, PvP one-on-one -on -one short burst, blood rope for all, just hang in there with Weekend. Until next time, bye.